up. Here we are again. I don't know. <clears throat> I was just whipping up my soap and decided, hey, let me show the guys. Because this is, uh, I got this, I bought a box off of BST, just a bunch of stuff, and this was in there. Uh, and I just tried to look it up this morning, and I can't find really anything about it. I'm assuming it's just a small local group or something. Um, and old Kab Kab Kahab Kahaba? Ka Kahaba? That's a place like in... Uh... Yeah, I was expecting to put that into Google and get like, a, you know, some place in Mexico or something like that. No, it's in Alabama. Not exactly what I was expecting. And this soap is kind of weird. It's, it's very dark gray. And a lot of times I get slightly colored soaps, but they still lather and wipe. But look, you get the gray. It's interesting. And it doesn't smell like... You see that guy? I was expecting something very manly. Peppery. Uh, I don't know. Classic aftershave spice. No. It's fruity. It's very fruity. Fruity from Alabama. For... For that, for that, look at this guy. This guy doesn't say, give me something light and sweet, sweet and floral. Anyway, this is very interesting. Um, it seems to be performing really well for what I assume is like a, just an independent maker and stuff. I don't know. Let me know if you know anything about this stuff or <clears throat> tried to look for a website for the group and didn't find anything. I'm not all up on the social medias, so it says the guy posting to YouTube, but I hear YouTube is for the old folks now. I gotta get on I gotta not even the insta the insta is probably old. I need to make some TikTok shaving videos. I heard, I asked the kids a while ago if anybody was doing shaving videos on TikTok. They said yes. If I'm not mistaken, that's the one that your videos have to be pretty short. So it just has to be like, all done. I could not chat, that's for sure. I don't think. I should find out. Oh, if all goes well, you may have seen a new intro to my shaving videos. I'm working on a, on a new contract with a different production company. with Twin Century Fox, but uh, I don't know. We're parting ways. They have artistic differences with what I'm doing. They say stick to shaving. I say, but there's so much more out there. They weren't thrilled with my, my radical shaves that required use of safety equipment. So anyway, I can't tell you who it's with, but this new, new production company Sent me new lighting. Sent me a new uh, hair and makeup people. Before it was just I just had one person did hair and makeup. You can tell. You can see. I've got experts on both now. That's kind of cool. And it slows down the morning a bit, but uh, obviously worth it. Man, so I was not going to get on a, a soapbox. And boy, I tell you, I remember back in the early days of <clears throat> when I was watching shave videos every day, all day long. Now let's switch over to learning about Mezcal, but that's another, that's a different... Uh, 
different video will do. But when the guy would get on and start saying his opinion about something, one, one guy in particular, and I won't, I won't name names, but man, for me, he was notorious for, I, I would like his style and like hearing about his shaves and even his life. But then, boy, he spent a whole 20, 30 minutes going on about something else. And I'd be like, this is not why I tune in. I imagine like people would do that with my channel too. They're like, whoa, here. Hit the stop button. Anyway, I saw this headline walking down the stairs to the shave den here. Uh, you know, from my production trailer. Um, about parents getting into a fight in a parking lot of school about masks and stuff like that. For crying out loud. I just, I'm sorry. For the, for the life of me, I really can't. I can't, I just can't with the people that are just so self-centered that they're like, don't you tell me what to do when there's no way they can be so ignorant that they don't get the fact that if their kid is sick, it affects other kids or parents or teachers or the poor janitor or the school secretary or the bus driver or whatever. And you don't always know when you're sick. Much less that they wouldn't have the attitude of, holy cow, my kid is somewhat precious to me. I mean, either because they're your offspring or they help you bring in the winter crops or whatever. You'd think they'd hold some value that let me do whatever I possibly can, but they don't end up in the hospital. You would think. You would think. So, that alone makes me feel like an A-plus parent. Given that, our children are no good at harvesting the wheat or bringing in the crops. And yet, we still want to make sure they survive. Anywho, that wasn't the main point. The main point was we're in a freaking pandemic. And these folks... Let's say you can't make me this and that and don't take away my... I could say, all right, you got an argument, maybe, maybe, maybe in, the, in the normal days, but we're in a pandemic. You are going to be in a history book at some point because of what we're going through right now. This is not normal and we can't treat it like... Wait, I don't care what's going on. My rights are the most important. You're in a pandemic. You can't treat this like a decision being made at any other time in your lifetime. Because the circumstances are not anything that 99.99% .99 of people alive now have been through before. It's not the same. Things have to be different because your circumstances are different. That's as far as I'll go with that. But I'll tell you, I do think about the history books. You know, because we read about past plagues. And before people knew about germ theory and the crazy stuff they would do when people got sick and stuff. Yeah, that, that was a good, that's a good soap. I don't know, whoever made it. Um, good job. Um, it does have a name. I, I'm not going to read it here. I'll, can, I don't know if that's even focusing on this, but there's a name on there down, down here. I'd read them. I have my glasses on. But I don't know if it's just, you know, a little kitchen operation. Or what's going on with this soap? Anyway... People laugh or think, how ridiculous can you be when before, you know, people would go from surgery to surgery without washing their hands or, you know, drink dirty water and not even realize that that was spreading pestilence across the land. And is pestilence pets? I don't know, that's just a good word. Pests. Pests, I mean, pests like infestation. Anyway. We just, we view them, I mean, 
And that's part of the education, right? Is we we learned that, you know, they weren't being dumb or ridiculous. It's just the scientific knowledge wasn't there. And I know in the history books or whatever, they're not going to be using books in 50 years. But when half of us are long gone, and this is in the history books, so to speak, either the plague of the 2020s or the start of... You know, COVID's not just being eradicated, so who knows, in, in 50 years, it could be <clears throat> like the flu and people are still getting, you know, getting sick from it and they will be the start of COVID, it'll be what it's called in the history books or whatever, but the same thing will be shown, is that look, they were, this was happening and more deaths occurred because, you know, they, they, these people said this or said that instead of getting vaccinated or staying distant from each other. They continued to have, especially last year when they're having parties and stuff like that and just acted, well, if I get sick, I get sick. They're going to be like this scientific review and like 20% of deaths caused by this were just by people, you know, going crazy and not listening and not believing in science and people 50 years from now. Like, what, what was with those people? Anyway, little, little, <clears throat> see him, little Aquanauts looking sad, and he's like a little fish in the evaporating pond. I want to get out a new bottle here. I didn't even mention, see, I was, see, I did that soapbox thing. Thayer's Lemon, I already passed it up. Did the Nivea 2 in 1. Gonna be doing this <clears throat> Hermetica. Yeah, that's the name of the Hermetica. Source one is the name of this scent. I'm really loving this. Anyway, <clears throat> that was a shave. Sorry. I probably, and probably nobody's listening to this point, but if you are, bless you. I hope you like our new uh, production staff, the quality. Um, and I guess, I guess that's about, uh, I was going to say something else, but I guess that's it. Come over, see us on the shaving cadre. Um, yeah, I got to get to work. I'll see you on the forums.